thank God the other one's done, right? The last couple? Jeez. We're going to be talking a little bit about New Year's resolutions and why they're a really bad idea. <laughs> from all of us at Avalon Cottage. I hope that you are resting and enjoying this whole day. But before we talk resolutions, the cat magically appears. <laughs> Let's recap this crazy week. Y'all ever do that where you put your seat, you put your purse in the seat next to you and it falls over and opens everywhere. I do that all the time and I'm, why do I keep doing it? Why do I keep I don't know. Oh my God, the bag is under my eyes. Y'all, I don't even know what's happening now. Look at these. My eyes are so puffy and baggy. Ah! Okay, so it's uh, 60 degrees and it's not even 8 o'clock yet. And I think it's going to get up to 70 in the next for the next couple of days and then apparently snow showers. So in the meantime, we are going to be looking forward to great weather events. But hey, it's Alabama. Tornadoes for Christmas? Tornadoes at New Year's? Tornadoes for Easter? Probably, definitely. I am going to show you some things that happened at the office. You have one new message. And Yes, I was calling about your extended car warranty. If you want to get back in touch with me so we can extend that. Thank you. To play, press <laughs> 1. To <laughs> play, <laughs> press 2. To discard, press 3. For additional oh options, God. press the... Okay, so that recording was not a real telemarketer. That was... Um, an employee who, on her day off, decided to call and leave me a voicemail. <laughs> I have to love it. It was so funny. You know who you are. I'm not going to call you out like that. Okay, so. That's not my coffee cup. That is your coffee cup. How much did you put in there? I don't know. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Like, literally, one more drop, and it would have spilled. Now, how, what I want to know is how you going to get it out of there without it spilling? <laughs> when, oh, 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 look at now. You spilled it. You put more another drop. Okay, Marcus, figure out how we're going to do this. <laughs> Stick your face. Okay. Here, Take you a big pet drink. Here we go. I got you. No. <laughs> well, give me a straw. Don't then. put your lips on my cup. Give me a straw. <laughs> give me a straw. <laughs> Why do I feel like I need the... What, that song from Top Gun, Danger Zone? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Burns Ooh. lips off face. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. Don't mess up my table. <laughs> I'm not call this over. <laughs> it's on the table. <laughs> it's on the table now. I see rings. I see rings on my table. None of them a diamond either. <laughs> and say, this is what I have to live with. We don't live with you. Yeah, we all live here at work. <laughs> So Millie decided to go and sneak a coffee pod from the kitchen. It was a dangerous mission. So my videos are generally during lunch, unless, you know, something bizarre happens. So why do I think resolutions are such a bad idea? Well, first of all, all the studies show that within three to six weeks, you are done, even at the best. 
So I don't feel like doing things like, oh, I'm going to eat better. Oh, I'm going to, you know, I'm not, I'm going to completely give up bread. I mean, yeah, you're, you're overwhelmed from Christmas and you are probably just, your body's just craving vegetables. So it seems like a good resolution, but guess what? In a couple of weeks, you're going to be feeling all healthy, and then you're going to start craving this stuff, and you're going to you're going to fall off the wagon. So, I don't ever make a resolution at New Year's. My resolutions start whenever in the year that I feel like is right for me. I think starting with a resolution is just setting yourself up for failure. So somewhere in January, you're going to feel like, oh, well, I screwed up the whole year anyway. Um, might as well have another cupcake, right? <laughs> it's, it, it's just a bad idea. There are some things that I do that I wouldn't call them resolution. It's called awareness. I have recently become more aware that I need to take care of my health. Um, and that begins with my stress level. My um, awareness is that I'm going to have to slow down in some areas and I'm going to have to make sure that I stay calm because it is affecting a lot of different things for me. I'm pretty sure my family will like me better um, if I can stay less stressed. So I, you know, I have certain things that I am trying. Um, if I, <laughs> If I'm successful, then I will let you know about it. If you were going to start a new regimen of some kind, make it simple. Only do one thing. Instead of like just plunging into a keto diet and scaring your body to death, why not try something simple like let's just cut out bread. Just one thing. Or cut out, you know, sweets. Or cut out that three o'clock candy bar that you usually have at work. Whatever. Um, I just think that's a better idea. So what did you do for New Year's? And do you have resolutions? If you are making resolutions this year, have you been successful in, a, in the past? Like some people are really, really good at that. If that's you, then you go ahead. But um, for most of us, it's not. So t comment below and tell me what are your resolutions? And do you think they are actually achievable for 2022? Um, this is my awareness season. Now, currently, I wanted to get this video out here because I'm going to have to start preparing for bad weather. Um, we had some unexpected bad weather Thursday night, and but they're calling for really bad storms. I went outside to look at the sky because that's what you do, right? Okay. So this is the calm before the storm. It actually is very calm. And look how green the grass is. Y'all, our, our grass here, um, oh my gosh, who came in the driveway last night? Oh my, Lord Jesus. Look at these. Mm. Here I am trying to film a nice video for y'all. Okay, be calm, be calm. This is my New Year's resolution. Try to stay calm. Look at how green the grass is. Now, the brown patches that you see are actually leaves. And I have a different take on leaves. I know people are obsessed with cleaning their lawns and leaf blowing and gathering and all that. However, I am not. I love leaves in the yard. I think it's healthy for the grass. And I also just, um, I also just love the look of fall. And leaves don't bother me. Uh, sometimes I will take the lawnmower about in October and kind of just squunch them up a little bit so they're not quite so big. I didn't do that this year. And honestly, I'm not sorry. I, you know, no, it doesn't look nice and manicured. But you know what? It's fall and winter. And this is what nature looks like. You know, I love it. Uh, you can see underneath these leaves that the grass is actually green. And honestly, in Alabama, most of the time the grass stays green. So you can see out in the distance here, 
See where the leaves aren't? See how green it is? It's January 1st. So there you go. Um, of course, I have got all of this. This lovely ivy that the city uh, wants me to... And the trees that the city keeps wanting me to tear down. Or let them tear it down. Because the power lines are... They do have to trim it. The power lines are close. I get that. But you know what? I like my privacy. So I am out here um, just looking at the sky because this afternoon we're supposed to have horrendous weather. Y'all say a prayer for us in Alabama and in and, and these states where these line of storms are going through. Look at that. We see a little bit of blue sky. That's so nice. Well, it's nice to see you while you were here. New Year's Day storms. That sounds fun. So how was my New Year's? Well, here's a little bit of a peek. We were planning to sleep over at our friends' houses, and we left at 10. Yeah, really exciting. I hope you enjoyed this little hello on New Year's Day. I'm going to be changing a little bit in this year um, with some more informative videos and maybe some help with other people. I love your suggestions. Hey, if you ever see something and you just want to, you think, oh, she should do this, comment on that video. Comment whenever you think of it. I would love to hear your ideas, and if they're doable for me, I will absolutely do them. Anyway, enjoy 2022. Get some rest. Take care of yourself, and I will see you next time. Bye!